Tonight is Friday, July, 20, July 30th, 2021, and we will be reading the, from the New Zealand prayer book, Night Prayers. Let's take a moment or two to quiet our hearts and minds. The angels of guard guide us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and for our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou, most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal spirit flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray together Psalm 16. It's on my page three. I'm not sure what it is on yours. Oh God, I give you thanks for the wisdom of your counsel. Even at night, you have instructed my heart. I have set your face always before me. You are at my right hand and I shall not fall. Therefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not give me over to the power of death, nor let your faithful ones see the pit. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and from your right hand flow, <clears throat> flow delights forevermore. It is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen ves vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be also manifested in our body. 
move on to the prayers. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as, an, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Pray together for the ordinary days followed by the song of Simeon. Preserve us, O God, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Say together the Lord's Prayer that we normally pray, since some of you don't have the printed service. Uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. If you'd like to unmute, uh, we'll offer prayers of intercession now. Pray for Patrick and Art, Dave, or Courtney, Carol. Doris, Linda and Lindsay, and Kathy. Thanksgiving for Thanks. Alan and Pan on her birthday. Absolutely. For the conference center, for Margaret. And for Wendell. Pray for Kathy. Brent. Pray for safe travel for Frank and Mary. We ask these things in thy name, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray together the general thanksgiving. Eternal God, compassionate and merciful, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your boundless love in the redemption of the world by our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us that due sense of all your mercies, that our hearts may be truly thankful, and that we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen.
write together number three and then number six. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light, all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. <laughs>